the ATU. Welcome and thank you for, for, for having us here today. I think on behalf of um, the Knights and Dames from, from Southern Africa, um, it is a great, great, great uh, blessing for all, all of us. I'd like to, in the same breath, welcome and thank um, from the UK uh, and the Welsh uh, fraternity, Dr. David Smith, Michael Carney, Bashir uh, Smith, and our clergy from Southern Africa, Monsignor Stokes, um, Father David Rolls, concierge and confreres. History was made last year in, in, in Southern Africa when um, we had our first investiture in November. 32 uh, members of the order uh, were invested. And it's surreal to believe that we're sitting here today, seven months later on our first pilgrimage. And I think it's a sign of, of, of our commitment, the enthusiasm that we share um, for the Holy Land. And um, you know, we, uh, we went to Mass, we celebrated Pentecost Sunday, now this past Sunday, at uh, the Taylor Catholic Church in the Arabic Mass. Absolutely moving for us. Fantastic. I think it touched all of us in different, in different ways and different aspects. Um, and you know, when we left the church, we came out, and the amount of love and support that was shown to us by the congregation was just absolutely real, uh, surreal. Um, you know, Father, uh, the Palestinian community really, really, really uh, embraced us with open arms. It, it was as if we were long-distant family. Um, the priest went on to say as well that um, it was a sign of hope and a sign of love that his brothers and sisters from the, the continent of Africa, all at the bottom of Southern Africa, would be there and celebrate Mass. Um, you know, just shortly, uh, we as South Africans can relate to the plight of the Christians in the Holy Land. Coming from Southern Africa, um, we have experienced oppression and, and, and been witness to it many, many years ago. And I think just, just us coming to the Holy Land now reinforces the plight of the Christians in the Holy Land. And I think we're all going to go back and, 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 and make a contribution in some sort of way and, and raise more awareness. Because we really believe that awareness needs even in Southern Africa, even with our own problems back home, I think, I think it's imperative that, that we take the message back um, for our Christian brothers and sisters. Um, so we do empathise with, with, with the situation here wholeheartedly and vehemently. Having traced the footsteps of the Lord in the Holy Land now the past couple of days, we shall return home inspired by the Holy Spirit, and determined by the strength of our Father to grow the order on the African continent. Um, we will support the initiatives of the Equestrian Order of the Holy Sepulchre of Jerusalem, Southern African uh, Magistral Delegate, Delegation, and the focus will be on, on, on the three P's, prayer, pilgrimage, and, and projects. <laughs> And I think, I think uh, I'm very blessed to be able to speak on behalf of everyone here, the uh, concierge and confreres. And we, we, we will go back with a simple analogy that, you know, although we're in Southern Africa and, and, and things are also very, very difficult for us, but we really believe that jobs become leaders. And with that, I'll end and thank you very much for this opportunity to, to, to address you. It'll be over to you.